Hey there everyone, and welcome to a new Future Programmer YouTube tutorial. In today's programming tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can use matplotlib to create histograms in Python. Without further ado, let's get started. Histograms are used to show the frequency distribution in a dataset. Now, similar to bar graphs, histograms also use bars to show frequency, but there is a very big difference between the two types of data visualization. Because bar graphs are used to visualize categorical data, and histograms are used to visualize numerical data. What that means is, for example, bar graphs can be used to show the number of programmers in different companies. Now, companies is a categorical data, a categorical variable, so we can have company A, company B, company C, etc. These are different categories. Whereas for histograms, we can use a histogram to show the number of programmers in different ages. Now age is a numerical variable, which means we have to split the ages into different intervals. For example, our first group is from 11 to 20. This is the first interval. The second interval is 21 to 30, etc. So Using histograms, we can show the number of programmers in each of these intervals. So they both result in bars, but they are used for different purposes. Let's import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and we can use pyplot's hist module or hist function to create histograms. We just need to pass in a list of numbers into this function, and matplotlib will plot a histogram for us. I have imported the random module and created a list of 500 numbers, 500 random integers from 0 to 50. After I pass x into plt.hist, we can see a histogram on my screen. So we can see both the x and the y axes are numbers. So what this is showing us is that from 0 to the first bar ends at about 5. So from 0 to 5, in this interval, we have about 64, I want to say 64, 65 observations. This is the frequency of our data within this interval from 0 to 5. From 5 to 10, we have about 51, or sorry, 41 or 42 observations, and so on. So taking this into context as our example from before, let's say this is... Um, well, obviously, this is just random numbers, but from 0 to 5, this in this age range, we have about 65 programmers. And then from 5-year-olds to 10-year-olds, we have 41 programmers. From 10 to 15-year-olds, we have about 56, 57 programmers. So this is what histograms can show, the frequency distribution in a data set. plt.hist can also take another optional parameter, bins, which is the number of bins in the histogram, the number of intervals in our histogram. So right now in this graph, we can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 bins. Now if I pass in bins is equal to 25, our interval sizes is going to go down and the number of bins is going to go up. So we can see more bins of smaller sizes. If you have learned statistics, you've probably come across normal distributions, and this is something that can be shown using histograms. We can create a random normal distribution data using numpy.random.normal with three parameters. The center of the distribution, the scale, the standard deviation of the distribution, and size, the number of values in our distribution. Don't worry if you don't understand what these mean. Essentially, we're creating a bell-shaped curve using a normal distribution and plt.hist. So we're creating a normal distribution data centered at 0 with a standard deviation of 1 with 100,000 observations, 100,000 data values. And then we can pass x into plt.hist with the number of bins as 100, and we can see a beautiful bell-shaped curve on my histogram. We can also plot multiple histograms on one graph to compare multiple groups. So 
we have two groups of people, junior programmers and senior programmers. I have assigned a normal distribution generated by numpy.random.normal to each of these variables. Now let's just plot one of these at a time. So we have plt.hist junior programmers with a label of junior programmers. If I run this code, we can see a sort of a bell-shaped curve, not as obvious as before when we had more bins, but we can still see kind of a triangle sort of shape. Now what this is telling us is, let's see, so this is the number of programming languages that programmers have learned. And maybe this isn't the best example because we actually have negative values, but if we just ignore the negative values here, let's say it starts at zero. So for junior programmers, from zero to one, this is the number of languages that junior programmers know. So 15 of the people we surveyed or 15 people in our data set know zero to one programming languages. 30 people know one to two languages. And we can see 40, the most number of people, 40, let's say 41, know from three to four programming languages. And we can compare, the, compare this data to our other histogram for senior programmers. And we can see that very clearly, the orange part, the senior programmers histogram is to the right of our junior programmers because most people in the senior group know around six languages, which is what we want since we specify that to be the center in our normal distribution. So this is how you can use histograms to show the frequency distribution in numerical data using Python. And that is it for this tutorial on creating histograms using Python's matplotlib package. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider subscribing down below to support this channel. With that said, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in more programming tutorials in the future.